In this video, I uh, want to uh, demonstrate how I uh, set up a, a new table to collect uh, information here. You can see order, date, time, uh, out, and delivered. <coughs> I simply created a, a new table. Uh, nothing special here. Um, and then uh, under the design view, I had typed in the information here, uh, order number, set it text, figuring we're going to have that, and then time out, sent at, uh, set at date and time, as we see. <coughs> uh, simple as that, no uh, big deal about it. Uh, somewhere I'm sure there's a way to uh, tell it what format you want the date and time, but anyway, let's just leave it at the default for now. Let's go back to the uh, data view. You can see that um, the first uh, time I came in to edit the main switchboard to cha <coughs> change that, if I'll just close it here, <coughs> it simply opens it, doesn't show you the existing data, and uh, allows you to put more in. And uh, I prefer to, to uh, do it through a form like we did to um, uh, add text to the tracking form. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to uh, edit this um, and uh, generate a form to uh, input, uh, you know, disallow editing and allow input of new uh, data. The source of the data in this case is, heaven forbid, a situation where you have to go to uh, websites um, and get a date and time for uh, the uh, timeout where the, the package left a uh, warehouse or something, and then another location to get a date and time for a receipt. So. Not too uncommon, but uh, unfortunate if it has to be done manually. <clears throat> but sometimes that happens when you don't own the data uh, on these sites. And you have to um, train people and trust people to do the uh, manual uh, recording. Uh, this might be a way to sequence it. This might not be the final best uh, way of doing it, but a start to where uh, it could be refined as we go along. Uh, so like we saw before in generating a report, I discovered in this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, when you um, select, have selected over here the table, that's the table that I had generated, and then go to create and uh, create form, uh, this pops up uh, quite conveniently. So uh, that was how I did that. Uh, and came up with this name and everything. So uh, we may, uh, if I already saved it, might somewhere, I uh, see a common practice to put uh, form, so you know that this is a form, either at the end or the beginning. Here I like the beginning, so then I know it's right over there, and it gets uh, clumped together right with the order date and the table, right? So uh, it keeps them nicely organized over there. I'll want to link that to this tab in a moment, so I'm just going to close this. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, once uh, in here, uh, you can right-click anywhere in here and click on Properties. It brings the properties up or sends them away, right? Um, and then I was kind of having a hard time finding it uh, based upon uh, this one that I had set up manually, uh, not the way that I just did where I had it selected and then said new form. Um, I kind of like the, uh, the, uh, the new one that we're dealing with, but anyway, other various ways of getting to the same point. Uh, I wanted to set it so that uh, when we scroll down over here, as we did before, that uh, we will not allow edits. I got lost because it's when it first came up, it was on something else, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Then I realized that you had this pull down and could scroll, and when it's on form, that's when you get to set this global property for the form. <clears throat> I'm just scrolling down over here. <clears throat> you can see data entry just migrated up. Uh, allow edits. <coughs> Obviously, there's much more that can be done. 
uh, as far as uh, people might be putting in the the wrong entry into one of these uh, uh, fields here. Oops. Uh, allow edits. Okay, and I'm going to change that to no. <clears throat> and then simply uh, save it. Let's get it to the form view. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll probably have to close it and open it again. Let's see if that'll work. So I'm just going to close this one now. Uh, let's open our form. Showing the ID number. We might want to get rid of that. Uh, I can. We can just remove it. But uh, I wanted that there because in Table 1 I had uh, deleted that because uh, it was bothersome when we were pasting things in with that approach of adding new data uh, here it can't be changed anyway so that's just uh, controlled automatically uh, I don't know why it's not giving us blank ones here to work with let's open our table and see what we got uh, it's trying to it's giving us number one there uh, Time received. Let's see. See, it's letting. Maybe if we complete this, we. Okay. Today. It's not letting us do it. Okay. I got to figure out how to <clears throat> to re refresh that. But uh, assuming it was a, a blank one, let me do this. Anyway, you can create a button to create a new blank record let me just do that okay so um, this will be added automatically here uh, it's not really the best format to do this but uh, theoretically this could be opened in a window and then um, if your switchboard was still up <laughs> this can float and let you see what you have on the screen here so need to switch to this uh, we get back to our our switchboard here and we can find what we need this is the one we need of course I'm not gonna put these in here so let's make up an order number uh, again on, on table one I created an order number there <clears throat> uh, you can do a lookup where this would let you look up on another one uh, or to a query to feed in so there's ways of linking uh, these things if you're uh, not getting new order numbers but uh, let's say the order number was there two one six nine eight five four one seven <clears throat> hit enter uh, date and time out you got the calendar here so we can see it. it's uh, let's say 7 20 2018 we hit the space bar we have the time we're converting the uh, that'd be 8 51 38 right convert military time so 8 uh, 51 assuming this 38 uh, and that's definitely p.m. to stick to the standard that we were using before <coughs> uh, then date and time received come back here let's just pretend it's all July uh, 23 uh, 119 19 00 p.m. So there may be ways of prompting for how this is exactly how this is input. Um, and then another thing that would calculate the difference if we drew in a query on this table, <clears throat> if this number was negative, then it would be, we could have it conditionally formatted or whatever so that it would light up and prompt the persons to make sure that they have uh, you know, these uh, correct data points where they are. Hit enter and uh, there is uh, the new entry so if we come to our table here close it well, there's a way to refresh uh, the table as well but anyway open the table <coughs> uh, this should be the one we just put in the 20th to the to the uh, 29th 
Okay, so we want to switch now uh, on the switchboard. Let me enlarge this. So right click on the switchboard, design view, <coughs> this one here. <coughs> uh, oh, it's just here. Where was it? <laughs> do, 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 do. Drats, we want to tell it. What table to refer to? Command four. This is I, I get frustrated, so I try to record these right as, right as soon as after I do it as possible. Oh, there we go. So uh, properties. I don't know, I'll have to pause this and come back. <laughs> Let me figure. Okay. So it was this function, build event over here. It brings us to this. So that's where we were. It just opened this in a tab. And we see it is open a table. And that's the name of the table. It's identified down here. And I want to switch it to... A form data sheet view. Okay, what do we want do we want to change it? Oh, not open a table, we want to open a form. Come on up here. Open a form, then it'll allow us to change it to a form. There we go. I think we're getting there. Form order. Okay. And if we save this, close. We're back to our switchboard. Save. Close. Let's close this. Let's close that. <clears throat> Let's just close everything. Let's open our switchboard again and put this. And there's our form. What I need to do is to uh, add a button to this. Yeah. <clears throat> right here we would add a button somewhere in here. And we would... Uh, Record navigate. Let's go to the first record. Record operations. Add a new record. There we go. Add record. Go to new. Let's see if this does it. Add new record. Let's see what we get. And there it is. Gives us that little button up there. Oh, text for it, but let's just see what we got. Save. Uh, form view. Let me get it set up. <clears throat> so rather than trying to navigate down here, we can just uh, see it up there. So that uh, gave us the new one. And then uh, simply this and go to the next, whatever the next item is that we're going to uh, do here and put in our, our new record. I'll set one up to close that form. Just copy and paste that. While well, we got a minute here, let me just show you how we do that. Oh, uh, also while we're here, uh, this is where you can go to access options. Note uh, here, default file. So, no, no. Uh, oh, current database, display form. Just from here, select the switchboard. So every time this is opened, it goes to that. <coughs> Um, switchboard, we wanted to open, I'll probably run out of time, but anyway, you can see just here, all you do is control V if you want, control C, control V, come down here, and then if you can remember how to do it, <laughs> the build event, 
and 